Hi there folks, welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all keeping really really well. If you're new around here, um, please check out all our other videos and please subscribe, it's something that we really do appreciate. And I'd just like to say thank you very much for joining me on this video. This video is something that I've been wanting to do for some time and just never got around to doing. And what I thought I'd do today on this video is make beef jerky and I'll show you how I make it and beef jerky is a brilliant um, snack for when we're out camping, when we're out in the woods and when we're out hiking it keeps for a long time, it's low in fat and it's high in protein and it is absolutely delicious and what I'm going to do now I'll show you uh, what um, the ingredients and everything I've got here to use to make the beef jerky so we'll take a look at that now what we're going to be using, we're going to be using this dehydrator in order to make the beef jerky to dehydrate, take any moisture out the uh, beef. That is how uh, it preserves the beef. Then we've got the piece of beef, which is a nice, clean, nice, lean cut. Um, just this little bit of fat and whatnot on the outside, so we'll trim that off shortly. Then we've got some soy sauce, some Worcestershire sauce. And I like my beef jerky to taste smoky, so to um, to enhance that flavour, to bring that flavour out, we've got some liquid smoke and some smoked paprika. With that, we'll add some um, chipotle chili flakes. Then we'll add some garlic powder, some chili powder. That's extra hot chili powder, so it will give this jerky some kick. Now I like it to make it sweet, a nice sweet smoky flavour, hot sweet smoky flavour is absolutely delicious. So we'll add some dark brown soft sugar. Then we've got some cayenne pepper, some onion granules, salt, black peppercorns or ground black pepper. I'll get my words out and obviously I've shown you those ingredients. What I'll do now, I'll put the beef and the dehydrator to one side because we don't need those at the moment and we'll get on with making this marinade. Right, for the marinade, we'll um, add soy sauce and I'll probably use the best part of this bottle, if not all of it. I think that should do for the time being. We'll see if we need to add any more later. And then the Worcestershire sauce. About half this bottle. Maybe it's a little over, than, over that. There we go, there's a Worcester sauce, or Worcestershire sauce, however you pronounce it. Then we'll put in the liquid smoke. Good bit of that. Put that to one side. Let's get a spoon for the sugar. Right, for the sugar, I'm going to say roughly. that much. It might seem overkill with the sugar and when you initially taste the marinade it might seem really sweet but believe me once um, the jerky is dehydrated, the beef's dehydrated to make jerky it is absolutely delicious. We'll put in the garlic powder roughly around about that much. The paprika, smoked paprika. Approximately about that much. We can add a little bit more if we need to. Cayenne pepper. Again, this will add nice flavor and heat. A good bit of that. Chipotle, chipotle chili flakes or chipotle or wherever that's pronounced. Plenty of those. 
So roughly around about that much. I mean, this is to my taste. Um, but you you can alter that to suit yourselves. The onion. Plenty of that. Should do that. Black pepper. Plenty of black pepper in. Again. Like I said, this is to to my taste and my family's taste. And a good bit of salt. That helps to cure the beef whilst it's in mar in the marinade. Help for the uh, help to preserve it. I'll do for that. And then the chilli, as I've said, this is extra hot chilli powder, so we won't go too silly with that. I would say about that should do it. We'll give, all that, give that a stir, see what it's looking like. See if we need to add any more soy. Right, what we're going to need to do now is trim all this off the outside of the beef. We don't want this on because uh, the fat will make the beef jerky spoil. So we need to, we may lose a little bit of the meat by doing this, but it can't be helped. So we'll just take that knife as close to it as we can. We can always use this, keep this, and use it for making stocks. Uh, we just trim this up. It's really important to get rid of the fat because the fat doesn't keep, it will turn rancid and spoil the jerky. So it's important that we remove this f so we can keep it for longer periods of time. It's a bit of a tedious process but it's just one that needs to be done. We're not too far away now with this one. And I'd never make a butcher the way this goes. Uh, I'm not making, doesn't look the prettiest. If we look, in, look at the beef itself, we can see the grain of the meat. And what we want to try and do, what I'll probably do is cut this in half, like so. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll put it in the freezer to firm up. We don't want it frozen, but we want it firm to make it easier to cut. Because at the moment, that's just going to roll and it make it difficult. So we'll do that now. We'll get that cut in, in half. Where the beef's been in the freezer for a few hours, and if we take a look at that, we can see that it's a lot firmer in comparison to how it was earlier. So what we'll do now is uh, we can start slicing that. So we take the knife, and we want roughly, maybe, he's six millimeter thick slices there and or thereabouts doesn't have to be exact and what we do when we're cutting across the grain and that just makes it easier um, to bite pieces off and tear tear pieces off so if we we can probably go a little thinner than that but not a great deal like I said this doesn't have to be exact just somewhere near There we go, we can see all the beef sliced up now. All nice and sliced. We can see the grain of the meat. Um, we'll just take a piece of this. Let's take that piece of exit. And if we pull that across, you can see that comes apart quite well because it's going across the grain. But yeah, we've got plenty of beef there. Freezing it makes it just that little bit easier to cut. And not what we do now, we'll put it all in the marinade. The marinade's had a good few hours now to um, settle down and the smell coming from that is absolutely amazing. So what we'll do, we'll just put all the, the beef into the marinade. Get 
fit all that in there. Push it right in and give that a stir through so it all gets nicely coated. That smell is unreal. Some of the bits are quite big, but once this is dry, this dehydrated, we can cut it up into more suitable pieces then. But for now, we're just going to leave it in this, this size. If some are a little bit thick, um, we can soon, when we come, before we put it in the dehydrator, we can flatten that out a little bit, spread it out. And get this all coated. There we go, we can see that the uh, meat's had a thorough coating of the marinade. You can see there that there's plenty on there. We can see some of the chilies on there and everything. I'm we'll just continue mixing that through. So it doesn't have to be smoky and sweet and spicy, how I like it. Um, you can make it any other way you choose. You can make it with honey and ginger, uh, teriyaki, Cajun. Just whatever takes your fancy really, and whatever suits your taste. But yeah, that's had a thorough mixing through. And we'll leave that now. We'll leave that overnight to, to allow it to infuse and be nice and tasty. And then we'll put it in the dehydrator in the morning. The beef's been sitting in the marinade now overnight. Approximately about 18 hours. I've had it in here. We'll just give it a one last stir through. And what we'll do now is we'll take the strips of beef, we'll just pat them on the paper towel on the kitchen roll, and just lay them on the racks. I'm just taking some of the excess moisture off here. We want them in there but we don't want them touching. The strips of beef are, are quite big but uh, that doesn't matter because we can cut them down to a more manageable size later or we can just leave them as they are. There we have all the meat laid out on the racks, ready for the dehydrator. I've patted it all with paper towel, as you've seen, uh, to take some of the excess moisture off there. But yeah, we'll transfer this now to the dehydrator. We've got six racks of beef. A few little scrattier bits on that one. spread them out so they're not touching that's quite important here we go we've got the beef in the dehydrator I've set the temperature at 70 Celsius and I've set the time for eight hours and during during the day I'll come back and I'll check on this and see how it's doing um, we'll take a look see how it's drying out you don't have to use a dehydrator to make beef jerky. It is possible to make it in the oven. Um, what I've done myself in the past when I've made it in the oven is just hung the strips of beef on the rails, on the racks, on the shelves, um, set the oven at its lowest temperature and left the door open a little bit and that's worked fine. It is a lot easier using a dehydrator but uh, it is possible to do in the oven. I'll bring you along later on in the day and we'll take a look at how, it's, how this is drying out.
where the beef's been in the dehydrator now for six hours and uh, this, these bits are just about ready some of it is ready um, I've rot rotated all the shelves so this one was at the bottom I brought that to the top and vice versa swapped them all around um, but yeah as you can see that's starting to tear apart nice that's pretty much there a little bit longer but not much but yeah we'll keep an eye on that now and uh, we'll have another look later on here we go there's the beef jerky finished as you can see that's uh, dried out now that's uh, dehydrated that's just pulling apart we can see there it looks like fibrous which is that's what we want to see that'll make this last a good time good while good shelf life it's absolutely beautiful stuff really healthy really good for you full of protein low in fat and it's like I said earlier it's excellent for taking on camping trips when we're busy in the woodland when we're out on hikes absolute fantastic stuff just to keep you uh, nourished throughout the day but yeah there's another thing this is really enjoyable with and we'll have a look at that Beef jerky is also a fantastic snack to enjoy with a beer. So here we go, taste test. That is amazing, absolutely fantastic. Really nice. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you're new around here, please subscribe and please give the video the thumbs up and share really would appreciate that and I'd just like to say thanks once again for joining me on this one and uh, stay safe as always and we'll see you on the next one bye for now and cheers